Ali radiyallahu anhu says, Al Mahdi yuminna ahl al bayt. The Mahdi is from us, from the family of the Prophet. Yuslihuhu Allahu fi layla. Allah Rabbul Izza will prepare him for the office of leadership in one night. So the Mahdi doesn't know he is the Mahdi. And the Mahdi doesn't have the competencies of the Mahdi. Until one night, in one night Allah will transform him. The ahadith mention that a king will die in the Jazeera, in the Arab Peninsula. And the sons or three sons of a king will fight and quarrel over leadership. And to avoid this quarrel, this man, Muhammad ibn Abdullah, will leave Medina in secret and go to Mecca. Because he doesn't want to be involved in the conflict, nor does he want people to turn towards him. So when he goes to Mecca, his aim is to avoid getting tangled up in this leadership struggle. Yet people follow him from Medina into Mecca. And they find him and they take him out. And they bring him to the Kaaba. And there between the Durukn, as in Hajr al-Aswad, and Maqam Ibrahim, they will make bay'ah to him when he doesn't want it. You with me? That didn't sound very convincing. So... They will make bay'ah to him. And as soon as they have pledged allegiance, two things will happen. Number one, an army will march out from Syria to attack this progeny of the Rasul. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, listen carefully, is in the house of Aisha radiallahu anha. And he is asleep. And in his sleep, he starts to move. He looks uncomfortable. He's displaying what he's never displayed before. Discomfort and sleep to the extent that he's moving. Then he got up. So she said, Ya Rasulullah, I have seen you do what you normally do not do. So the Prophet wasallam said, Strange is the situation. An army will come from, the, from Syria. Intending the house of Allah from my ummah, seeking a man from my progeny to attack him. And in another hadith, Wallafdul al Bukhari, Yahzu Jayshun al Kaaba, Faida Jau Bibayda Amin al Ard, Yahsafu Bi Awalihim wa Akharihim, and an army will come campaigning towards the Kaaba until it reached the Bayda. And Bayda is an expanse of land between Mecca and Medina, a flat desert land. When it reaches there, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, يَخْصَفُ بِأَوَّلِهِمْ وَآخَرِهِمْ The earth will suck them in their first and their last. And in another قول, one person or a couple of people will be left just to tell the tale. So this is, one of the signs that this one is the one the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam intended. First that his name will be my name and the name of his father will be my father's name. Second, an army will come to attack him and he will be unarmed and the army will be destroyed by Allah alone. So when this happens, realize that this is the one. My brothers and sisters, towards the end of the time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring out an imam, a guide who will unite the Muslims, who will guide the Muslims and who will bring victory to Muslims. He will be known as Imam Mahdi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will prepare him in one night and everyone will take bay'ah under him.